Our presenter today is Chris Magruder. Chris is the Phased Array AUT Manager for Olympus and has been developing and delivering Phased Array systems for over 12 years. He works with service companies and end users of all levels all over the world, providing phased array application development and support. This informational webinar will last approximately one hour. If you have questions, please type them into the Q&A panel in the lower right corner of your screen. We will not uh, monitor the chat panel, so the chat panel is not active for any questions. So if you have a question, put it in the Q&A. If we aren't able to get to your questions during the live webinar, they will be addressed personally either by email or by phone after the event is over. <clears throat> now, without further ado, I'd like to turn the presentation over to Chris Magruder. Chris, take it away. Hello, everybody. Thanks for coming. We have a very big group today. I see representatives from all continents and time zones, and it's an interesting topic for which Olympus has a, a lot of inquiries recently. What we're going to do is uh, provide a, a basic overview and some examples of the Olympus and primarily OmniScan customer base in, in the inspection of authentic and dissimilar metal wells. Olympus has recently released their new 32128PR module, which is an update to an existing product that allows a, a lot of uh, capability that previously required a lot of uh, upfront engineering that's now off the shelf. We're also going to do an overview of the uh, Olympus DMA dual matrix array and DLA dual linear array that benefit from the Mod, OmniScan module and from the pitch catch or, or PR technology in general. At the end of the presentation, everybody will receive an email blast with this presentation and some presentations that made up this and some additional uh, information, including the brochures for these products. Before we, before we move to the uh, DMA and DLA probes, it's important to do a little bit of basic review. Whenever we're dealing with custom probes, custom wedges, uh, something a little different than we're normally used to using with an OmniScan, which is primarily 1D linear array probes, it's very important to, to do our checks. In the same way we do them with uh, the typical uh, 1D linear array probes, we're going to do them the, the same way. And there's a, a few things we do to verify uh, beam quality, which includes a precision angle, beam exit, and wedge delay for precision depth and height measurements. This means it's very important to give the calculator the right information, and it's very important to validate on cow blocks that you're receiving what you, you asked for from the software. The variable most responsible for angle error and sizing is the velocity entered in the OmniScan that's 50 meters or more outside the actual component velocity. And we do those checks very similarly uh, with the advanced probes as well. Whenever we're on the IIW block and I peak up the 50 or 100 millimeter radius that we saw in the, the slide previous, I want to ensure that my sound path is as intended and very important. Check number one is that at the peak position on the calibration block, that the exit point of the beam is exactly what the software thinks it is. When that's true, it's a good indication that my angle, trigonometry, and the acoustics that I asked for are going to be correct and that they're within the range of the probe. And we use the same tools we use for conventional UT in the IIW block to do that. In this example, we're on the 50 and 100 millimeter radius. Our time of flight is correct. The exit point is correct. And we'll do a similar check for the quality of the beam using a beam profile. So this is a five megahertz shear wave probe in carbon steel. And it's what most of us are familiar with. And it is as good as it gets for our attempts at stainless steels and austenitic materials 
it only goes downhill from shear wave and carbon steel.